Today, guys, I'm going to be showcasing the mythical unit Unstable Esper and Anime Defenders. Anyways, y'all, let's get right into it. Alright, guys, now in order to showcase the Unstable Esper, uh, we're just going to need to hop in an infinite map real quick. So let's just go Windmill Village, Infinite Mode, Confirm, Start. Alright, y'all, now real quick, before I begin, I'm just going to have to grind some money real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I just maxed out all of my money units. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin with the showcase. So here is how Unstable Esper looks. Also, keep in mind, guys, that this is his evolved version. Unevolved version is just called Esper. Evolved version is called Unstable Esper. So here he is. His base damage is 413. His cooldown is 5.4, and his range is 26.4. As you can see, here it is. It's actually not that bad. Anyways, let's go ahead and give him his first upgrade. So his first upgrade is going to cost 1,000. Bam. He now does 848 damage. Cooldown did go up a little bit. And his range is still 27.5. Here it is, once again. Also, he he um, later on when you upgrade him, he gets different moves, which is pretty cool as well. So let's go ahead and upgrade him again. 2,000. He now does 1,435 damage. Cooldown went up, and his range went up as well. As you can see, here here's the range now. Look at this. Basically covering the entire map, bro. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade him one more time. 2.8. So he now does 1,749 damage. 5.8 second cooldown, 31.7 range. Here it is once again. And here's one of the moves you get after upgrading him. It's basically, so he's basically like a gravity guy. I don't know, I'm not sure which character this is. I'm, I don't know if it's Mob Psycho or if it's uh, MASH. I'm not sure, bro. I can't tell. Anyways, here's um, some of the move he does. Oh yeah, let me delete these guys, by the way. So you guys don't get confused with the moves. Alright. Here he is. He has like this gravity push down thing. Looks pretty sick. Anyways, let's upgrade him one more time. 3,500. He now does 2,201 damage. Cooldown is 5.4. And his range is 37. Here's his range. Oh my god, bro. It's, it's almost covering the entire map. This is actually insane. Alright, let's upgrade him one more time. 4,000. He now does 2,636 damage. 5.4 second cooldown and 41.2 range. What the hell? Look at that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Look at this range, bro. No NPC is escaping from this guy. And keep in mind, y'all, you can place four of him down, which is overpowered, I'm not gonna lie. I don't get why he receives so much hate. Just keep in mind, in this game, any mythical unit is really, really good. So just don't listen to people, bro. Because everyone's telling me this, this unit's bad. But look at him. I mean, I mean, he might be bad compared to other mythicals, but he's actually pretty good. Anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade him one more time. 5,600. He now does 3.2 thousand damage. His range went up and his cooldown is still 5.4 seconds. Look at his range. Bro. Might as well just cover the whole map, bro. Look at this. Alright, this is actually crazy. Also, guys, keep in mind, the more you upgrade him, he'll do more damage, but his range will go down. So, as you can see right now, he's going to do 3,698 damage. Cooldown will go down and his range will go up. Bam. Now, as you see, next next upgrade, he's going to be doing a lot more damage. He's going to do 5,000. His cooldown is going to go up, and his range will go down. So let's go ahead and upgrade him again. 8,000. So now he does 5,221 damage. Cooldown increased 6.3 seconds, and his range went down to 33.8. As you can see, here is the range now. It's still pretty good. I mean, you guys don't really need all that range anyways. <laughs> this guy is basically covering the whole map. And he has this... Um, gravity ability where he throws like pieces of the of the ground which is pretty cool as well look at that he's handling all these units by himself bro look at that damage all right let's go ahead and upgrade him one more time 9200 <clears throat> so now he does 5656 5.8 seconds 34.8 range so as you can see next upgrade he's going to do 7178 and his range will go up a little bit and his cooldown will go up as well so let's go ahead and upgrade him Alright, now he does 7,178 damage, 6.8 seconds, and he does 35, his range is 35.9. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I did not know he does that, bro. Look at that. Okay, so now he's throwing like buildings, bro, which do more damage, and it looks way cooler. Look at this. One, two, three, four. He picks up like four building blocks, I believe. Anyways, I think this is his last upgrade. Yes, okay. So here he is, maxed. Uh, evolved Esper. He does 8,049 damage. His cooldown is 6.3 seconds and his range is 37. 
Here's his range. So it's basically covering the entire map, bro. If you if you have good placements, you should be able to do a lot with these units. And keep in mind, this is only one. So you can place one right here, over here, and over here. And you can literally cover the entire map, bro. <laughs> it's actually crazy. All right. Anyways, here is how his moves look. Look at that. It's basically, I think he's picking up a building. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. It looks like, it looks like a building piece. So instead of like picking up rocks, he picks up buildings now. And he throws it. Look at that. 6,000, 6,000, 4,000, 4,000. That damage is crazy. So one unit was able to solo until wave 25. I believe he can solo until like maybe wave 35 even. Crazy unit. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, then please make sure to like, subscribe. Also, y'all, comment down below which unit I should showcase next. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.